Bachelor, a Bachelorette. We've had 20 years of this show. Like you're an OG. Wow. Um, how much do you think the show has changed since you were on it versus now? I mean, there are a lot of things that are very similar. Um, just the format, even though there used to be like a very specific format. We went from 25 to 15 to eight to you know, like it was very specific. Um, it was very specific that you went from rose ceremony to rose ceremony in a show, you know, and now it's like, you never know where they're going to end when they're going to start. You know what I mean? In terms of the time of filming. So they don't really care about the format, which is, you know, not a big deal. Um, I think that social media has played a huge role in the change of, um, of the show and my I I'm I apologize someone is snow plowing outside so if you can hear that <laughs> you know I think that that has changed a lot in terms of maybe the motivations of some people who come on the show maybe they want to you know gain more of a following on social media a little bit of cyberbullying is happening I mean maybe not a little bit a lot of cyberbullying happening happens I feel like with the show so you have to come into it with a really thick skin and um you know a lot of security in who you are um oh there's so so many things i mean 20 years 20 more than 20 years because my season i believe this february is when our proposal was aired february 19th was when our proposal aired 20 years ago so and my show was i think Oh, I think I was fourth and then Andrew Firestone and then me. I know back then, um, you know, it was really like that journey looking for love. And I felt there was a lot of authenticity there. Not a lot of um, strategy. You know what I mean? It didn't seem like there was yeah. a lot of strategics type playing. Um, now, do you think the, the women and the men are, are using some sort of gameplay strategy in order to get that final rose? I'm sure there are some of them that do. Yeah. I mean there have been books about how to be successful on the show, you know, or I feel like, like blog posts, you know, like get, uh, all kinds of things. There's so much media out there about, about how to be successful on the show. I mean, there was this, what was that guy on Michelle's season who had his whole binder. Did you watch <laughs> Michelle's season? They like, so they totally found him out and she was in his room. Like he had all this material on how to, yeah. How to, um, woo her. And yeah. yes, there is, there have, there's a little bit, I will say not, not completely because I do still believe there are people there who, sorry to say it, but they're for the right reasons. Um, there, but there is a little bit of a lack of, um, innocence. You know, yeah. If, do you think it's still possible to find love on reality? TV? I do. Okay. Oh, I do. Okay. I do. I think okay. it's all okay. about it. I mean, you meet, we've always said this too. Mm -hmm. We, we met through the show, but it's what we did with our relationship after the show that really mattered. And I think that still holds true. You know, as long as you um, are on the same page and that's what you want out of the show, then it, definitely is is achievable if you are prioritizing the relationship even though he proposed and I mean you guys seem so bonded did you know then like this is forever or did it take a while after the show and then you were like okay this is really the real deal oh no I did I okay know. I wouldn't have said yes if I didn't okay believe. yeah uh I did not everyone else did but I did <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, it's funny. I was just watching a, a reality show last night and, and my kids are in their 20s. So I always laugh like there is no way those kids would ever go on reality TV. I would forbid it. But like, yeah. I asked them, would you guys want to go on? And they're like, I don't know. Do you ever talk about that with your kids? Like, would they ever? It's come up? up. I feel like if we've had an interview or a question come up, I have always said I would be a hypocrite if I didn't say you could do it. You know, they would be like, oh, whatever. You know, it's kind of like the 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 drinking um, before you're 21. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, well, you did mom or whatever. So like I was on reality television, met your father that way. I yeah. could not say no, but I will say if it was something that they ever wanted to do, there would be a lot of preparation and a lot of conversations being had between us. Mm-hmm. Um, and even with producers and, you know, just about like going into it, what you could expect, how to behave, you know, um, because they can, they can take what you've said and use it it, out of context. And so I, you know, I don't know as a 13 or 15 year old that they would truly understand that, but hopefully they would later on and um, they wouldn't be able to do the show until later. I mean, I didn't do the show until I was 29. So Right. Um, that I wouldn't be a hypocrite on. I would be like, you, if you right. want to, you're going to wait. 